Here we are. It's working, baby. Two versus twos. Not with Binner, but with the man himself, Trasgo, of which uh, we are lining up as Dark Elves and Lizardmen going against... Uh... <laughs> Doesn't matter who we're going against. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, man. Uh, anyways, taking a quick look at the at the troop counts. Very even here. Incredibly even, actually. 27-26 uh, on our side versus 27-22 on the other side. I feel like I sound like Donald Trump on that one. Like, very even, so even. You've never seen a force more even than this. And here we go as we uh, get ready to start the battle. And this is going to be the tippy-tippy top of the battle. There will never be a battle like this ever again in your life. It'll be nothing like you've ever seen. Nothing, I tell you. The biggest battle ever. And now we get ready for some more fucking debates huh uh anyways um looking at looking at our lineups uh trasco is very spread out over here but i do like i do like what he's doing so i think that we have a relatively cohesive force here um i will be rushing right off the bat though just because uh i mean we don't have any artillery i don't really have much range except for my shards and looking at the hot or damn it's it is uh fuck i have to go god damn it, i have to go against them i have to go against the fucking wood elves oh bastards all right well let's see um is it gonna be nice and snappy it looks like we're it looks like we're fine actually right now this is gonna give me a chance to get my doomfire warlocks way the hell in the back and what we really want to be doing is we want to go side to side so look at what the wood elves have done here they don't really have anything to kind of like stop up any sort of a uh, any sort of a quick rush into the side right there um so that's what i'm going to be hoping to take advantage of now they do have these units in the back these war dancers which can be devastating but I do believe that if we line up properly on this approach, which we are getting into right now, there the, there the Dread Spears go as they march up to the front line, then we should have a nice defensive front to kind of operate off of. So I'm going to be very like laissez-faire with this one and kind of just leaving, uh, leaving my front line kind of there, but not actually engaging them. I really only want to be engaging actually my Corsairs and my, uh, and my, and my, and my Dark Shards here. I don't really see a reason to not, uh, or sorry, to, uh, to, to engage my front line unless if they want to engage me, which is completely fine as we do have charge defense, so it shouldn't be any big issue. And we can kind of just leave them, you know, steady but I would like to get my shards out to an open skirmish with the Glade Guard um, ideally first. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, initially target them. I'm also going to be getting... Ah, uh, fuck. He's already targeting my uh, my boys over here. And look at this. He has not caught wind of my Doomfire Warlocks, it, uh, it looks like. So I'm just going to go I'm just going to go coast to coast over here. The rest of the map is completely underway, though. Looking at uh, Trasco taking on the Greenskins. The front line's just briefly uh, briefly meeting up right there. Those skinks are fucked. <laughs> they're, they're completely fucked. But uh, what I hope here is that he's not can actually realize what the hell is going on as we get a few good early volleys down into those uh, into those glade guard and what we can have here is we can actually have our our black heart corsairs go around the side there two trailer park girls like the two 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 what is it two black heart corsairs go around the outside <laughs> anyways like that there we go beautiful charge in there and we should be able to break them off relatively fast and uh, then we can actually cut in for another charge right here the war dancers are oh jesus there's gonna be a lot of uh eh, a little bit of uh, friendly fire there. <laughs> we got some friendly fire going on, and I'm gonna put up my um, my uh, my court my other corsairs to go against uh, these boys right here. And yeah, my doomfire warlocks they just got absolutely shredded. Look at that, man. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to see, uh, but fair enough. You know, it is what it is. And where is my, uh, where's my, yeah, there, uh, there's my Sisters of Slaughter. Let's go straight to the back line as well and go in for a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a side action. And yeah, there, my, my Doomfire Warlocks just, I mean, they did get, they, uh, they did get targeted down to be fair, uh, but Jesus, man, powerful and, uh, and very, very nasty action going on. Anyways, um, time to throw down, haha, -ha, which should be a very, a very, 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 uh, relevant spell right here going against the Dryads, which, hey, Hey, whoa, guys! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, get the fuck away from there! Alrighty, let's get the uh, let's get our uh, let's get our, sh our sorry our, our spears on this uh, Glade Lord who is on. Is that a is that a dragon? No, it's a um, it's a what's it called? It's an eagle. It's an eagle crown. Get your fucking eagles right. Anyways, over here, corsairs are on target as well, looking good. And god damn it, I completely forgot about this unit as well. Let's go charge into those Glade Guards, sirs. Now uh, they do have bronze shields and they do have heavy armor, so we are looking good right there. Sisters of Slaughter are slaughtering. <laughs> they are are doing really, really really well at that we can actually move in these dread spears over here into a more um reserve capacity as it uh, looks like we actually will need to call up some reserves on this one and we already got the uh, the glade lord actually broken off holy shit and not it's not just broken off but it's taking a shit ton of damage my own lord is uh is is getting targeted a little bit as well but uh, but not a huge deal we can even have the uh, the doomfire warlocks go help out uh, trasgo for now but it looks like he's fine mostly or at least from what i can see he's fine uh, over here we got our knights of the ebonclaw into the glade guard breaking them off and we can go 
just uh, uh, you know g uh, go go take out the rest of the Glade Guard over here for another charge as they stream on in. Their their heavy armor plus uh, plus big old bronze shields is making them very very difficult to actually take down for the enemy. So we will take advantage of that, just running them all throughout their back line and uh, and kind of maintaining them in there. Over here we got a nice little line battle with our flankers on all these Black Art Corsairs plus the uh, Sisters of Slaughter. And uh, we're looking actually pretty good there, although the Sisters of Slaughter are getting absolutely... They're, get, they're actually getting slaughtered themselves by these Wild Riders. Um, not the best matchup for them, but uh, but they seem to be doing okay. Anyways, looks like we did shatter off one of the Glade Guard, which is good. We can go after the next one over here, make sure that they're walked off, as we definitely want them coming back. And this one over here is also shattered off too. And it looks like we have... Oh, the Glade, uh, the Glade Lord is actually still over there. I'm going to send one of my shards after her, or after him, or whoever the fuck it is. Who knows? Doesn't matter. And, uh, and we'll continue to dominate on the ground over here, which we're doing a very, very good job of thus far anyways yeah all these units are are done we have won the ground uh, the ground battle against the uh against the uh the 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 the, the wood elves the wood elves we beat the wood elves over here <laughs> and uh and so now we can just kind of converge on in as uh, this one looks pretty damn good but what i do need to do is i need to kind of reassess my lines just in case if uh if traz goes in trouble which i think he's okay i uh, actually no it looks like he's not doing too well at all in fact where where is traz go is, Tra is traz go done uh traz go is pretty beat up actually Actually, all right, so we need to set up another defensive front. So we'll get someone going like this. And uh, holy shit, yeah, you're, uh, yeah, that actually is true. Uh, Trasgo, it did, Trasgo did get a little bit wrecked there. So you know what? Let's uh, let's actually uh, let's actually steady up here a little bit more. Uh, get our shards back in position. Get you guys firing in over there. You guys uh, setting up like that, like so. And Corsairs, you guys get off on the side, and you guys get ready for your next encounter as well. Looking like uh, the fer the Feral Bastildon is um, uh, doing all sorts of doing all sorts of terrible things to, or sorry. Uh, He's getting all sorts of terrible things done to him. Uh, better said. Anyways, uh, for my own lord, uh, do we have another cast thrown down right here? Maybe not just yet. Uh, as we do let the lines kind of meet up. Let's get those uh, orc biggins over there. Uh, steadied up. And over here, looks like, yeah, Wildwood Rangers should be able to... Uh, they, uh, uh, looks like Trasgo can probably finish them off. No problem. So I will continue to kind of just remain overhead. And uh, not freak out. Not uh, not panic right here. As this game does get a little bit more, uh, little bit more tight. But uh, Bounce Powers is against us. So game is saying that uh, we are on losing end right now let's actually send these boys over here too whoops hey hello let me get my uh <laughs> let me get my spears over there there you go let's pull these guys back so they don't have to take that charge although looks like they're gonna get charged regardless damn it damn it damn it damn it anyways uh, send these boys up here too and send these boys up as well and whoa hey what are you guys doing bad <laughs> very bad very 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 bad the worst the worst of the worst anyways um uh, how are we doing over here? I think, I think okay. I think okay. Yep, the Knights of the Ebon Claw are pretty damn beat up, though. I'm probably going to go give them a, a, a quick little buff. Uh, whoops. Hey, guys, can I give you, can I give you buff? I just want to, I just want to love you. I just want to love you. That's what my girlfriend says all the time when she wants to piss me off. She says, I just want to love you. And then she does something that's just fucking annoying. It's, <laughs> she didn't like that one either. <laughs> she didn't like that. But, uh, <laughs> sorry, baby. I love you, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like uh, my uh, my my nice the Evanclaw are done over there, but we have broken off these units on the ground over here, which is good, and they're actually shattering off right there. Okay, Corsair has gone on target with those uh, with those war dancers and supported by the uh, by our dark shorts down low. We need to kill off that Glade Lord though, like as soon as possible. Let's actually pull these guys back here, pull these guys back right here. Hey, you guys, stop too. No, 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 no. Bad, 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 bad. And do we have any more um, units to be aware of? I think actually fine. Let's actually realign for these boys over here instead and get ready to throw down some more casties as uh, as this one is pretty damn close but uh, but certainly is against us right now and yes we did just shatter off the glade lord that's excellent that is actually a huge win right there let's actually might as well just throw it down right here too uh, hopefully we can just soften that unit up because uh the be the faster that we kill those ones the better and that one's actually still relatively high health so do you have to be careful with it um, but we'll try to get our ground units onto them as well the greenskins are going to start to approach here too we do have a bit of a defensive front set up um however they are bringing the heat right now and i just use my wind spell my biggest wind spell for that so that's going to be a little bit difficult as I also kind of split up my forces here too. Looks like Trasgo got pretty damn beat up, so we do need to uh, well, here we go, man. Here we go. Let's actually buff these guys up right there. We don't really have a better unit to give it to right now, unfortunately. And uh, maybe we got a little bit more Corsairs over here too. Yes, indeed we do. Let's bring them over. Let's bring them away the fuck on over right now. And my Knights of the Ebon Claw are, well, they're pretty fucking beat up and probably not worth all that much right now, but we'll give them the best go as uh, shit. There goes my shards over there. Not looking too hot. And you guys have skirmish mode on, which you should 
should never have on you bastards and uh oh boy yeah we got it we got a ton of things to deal with right now and it's not looking too hot unfortunately so what to do in a situation like this oh my god my shards are actually winning versus those uh deaf creepers that's kind of funny it's not something that you get to see every day um looks like they're gonna catch a nice uh, nice shot on me over here too i'm gonna flip around to those dread spears and uh ooh, we got another cast thrown down here whenever we want as well so uh might as well might as well throw it down right there get rid of all those gobos and we've actually actually everything else is pretty much broken off so good going to be taking a little bit of friendly fire there as well but i think more uh more damage is going to be done to the enemies so i figure that it is worth it uh as we bring some more corsairs back into the uh, back into the back into the back into this dispute over here looking like uh, actually yes we did break them off okay beautiful Waystalker still uh, still kind of free and uh, and doing doing whatever the fuck it wants to do, but uh, but at least we can kind of hold them back in this current regard, and that would be helpful. All right, let's target these boys over here for sure. You guys flip back around here too, and do we have another uh, Bufola to give to our boys? Yes, we do. This is, again, you know, not ideal, obviously, not ideal, but uh, but hey, if I don't really have a better unit to put it on right now, and our shot, or sorry, our dread spirits over here are actually uh, very very healthy. Um, uh, you know, all things considered, let's get our boys over here back into this skittle as well i think that we can still fight this one back man call me crazy i actually do think that we can fight this one back uh, but the balance power is very much against us right now like very 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 vehem vehemently against us and uh let me get my uh, corsairs off that one as well let's go take on those savage black orcs or actually you guys pop back in over here uh, we'd I'd really like to save this unit if possible in fact you guys can get onto them yes that would be good and pop one of these arcane conduits because we desperately need some casting we desperately need some casting right now but at least my dread spears my double gold chevron uh, dread spears are actually breaking off and holding their own versus these savage orcs so very 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 happy about that as uh, we desperately need it right now unfortunately that goblin big boss is going to be a uh, pain in the bunghole to deal with and uh, bounce powers continue to, continues to turn further and further away from us which is really not good oh god man uh but uh but hey we will uh we we will still play it out anyways we will not uh, we will we will not we, we will not be taken down by such things before our time has been met and do i have another cast getting ready i do have another cast ready over here so let's uh let's be patient with it Let's be patient with it and uh, let our boys continue to do a little bit more work as uh, that uh, Azhag the Slaughter actually pulls off the uh, the line battle, it looks like. Not sure what that's all about, but uh, we do have this this goblin big boss over here under a little bit of pressure as well. Let's pull these guys off, let them get away, and uh, reassess our boys and take on those war dancers right there. Would be a nice would be a nice, uh, a nice 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 play. Now, where do we want to throw down this next cast is the real question. I don't want to waste it because we're probably not going to get another one. Uh, we're probably not going to get another one. That's, that's the problem right here. Our boys over here fuck they're done damn it we really needed them to hold ah ship okay all righty come on come on <laughs> all right trasgo we gotta we uh we got we gotta we gotta we gotta get serious on these fuckers we gotta get serious on these fuckers but hey actually big breaking going on right there so nice one but we still have all these single entities to deal with uh that's not gonna be easy but hey oh whoa there goes there goes another there uh, there goes another one okay sweet um i guess we can go after azhag now uh, i don't really see any reason not to have our dread spears go over there uh dark shards over here are done fuck uh over here how we doing okay actually that unit is still relatively healthy so let's uh, let's give them another to give them a ba oh, Jesus. All right, well might, might as well give it to them. They do have a little more killing power. We can also take out those forest uh, goblin spider riders and shit. There is the trolls. There's some troll support over there. Let's actually get our shards onto them. That would be a good idea. Over here we got our dread spears charging into the what's left of these way watchers. They have no more ammunition left, so I think that we actually could win that one. And whoa, hey, we got some boys coming back into the uh, mix over here too. If they can take on those dryads, that would be excellent. And uh, looks like we actually will cause the death creepers to actually break away. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, hopefully, oh my god, man, can, can we actually do this one? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man, we, we just need these guys to screen. We just need these guys to screen. That's all. That's all that we need. Ah, uh, fuck, and I got another arcane conduit right here, too. Can we actually break these guys off? I don't know about that. I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to charge into them. I don't know how successful this will be. In fact, it probably won't be successful at all. But uh, but we need to do something right here as uh, as all these units get uh, get played off. Ah, shit. Uh, I'm one wins a magic away from another cast, which we definitely need right now. And we definitely need these guys on the line here too. And we need these guys over here. Fuck this one's so close. But I don't think that we got it actually. I actually, don't think that we got it. And uh, it looks like um, yeah, Trasgo's forces just completely broke right there might as well ah shit there goes my lord my lord just shouted off before her end as well and a very epic loss right there shit man i always lose as a dark elves it's kind of crazy i always lose as a dark elves yeah it, it, uh, it's it's all good trasgo it's all good man uh Binner says put your ranged and guard mode crown remember my guide yeah man 
uh, I just wanted them to kind of stick on target right there, to be honest with you. But looking at the kill counts, uh, my Supreme Sorceress uh, doing 163. Uh, all my Dread Spears getting, uh, or not all my Dread Spears, but a couple of my, or almost three of my Dread Spears getting uh, triple digits themselves. Black Art Corsairs, 140 right here, 131 on the Knights of the Ebon Claw. But the Doomfire Warlocks were a complete waste. That was a terrible decision on my own on my own part. Looking at the green skins, um, a lot done with these Night Goblin Squig Hoppers, kind of strange. Other than that, not really anything too high except for the Orc Biggins. And what do we see for the Wood Elves? Um, a little bit on the uh, on the dryads and uh, in the in the wild riders as well. That's kind of strange. I wonder why we lost that one. Um, interesting. Anyways, we'll go on to the next one. And holy. F